as a as a former uh, collegiate athlete yourself, what were some of the transferable skills, transferable experiences that you developed in wanting to be the very best basketball player you could and take it to uh, where, take it to your physical uh, limits and then transitioned into business and kept it moving? Yeah, and I'd like to kind of thank my um, one of my teachers, professors in business. He said that um, I won the IBM Business Award in college, and he said mm. I took my hard work from the court and put it into the classroom. And I thought that was interesting because that was before I knew I did that. Mm. Um, because mm. it's just a natural trait that we develop um, when we're trying to to be better, um, you know, through practice, work ethic. Um, especially if you're smaller than everyone else, you work harder, and um, mm. that's one of the things that you know. <laughs> Um, I've learned that it doesn't matter how big you are, it just matters how hard you work and, and what you're willing to sacrifice and put into it. Mm -hmm. But I think with basketball in particular, um, it's it's really the, the work ethic um, that I developed from it because it was the endless nights in the gym, it was the endless practices during the day, it was endless of, of what I could do to be better and I poured it all into basketball and so pouring that into the next step. And which when I graduated college, I got into, um, you know, sales and advertising and that's competitive as well. So, you know, when you want, it's just like, did you find sport. yourself, did you find yourself tapping into your basketball experience during tough times, mentally or physically challenging times? I got to get up. I got to go do this the grind. I think naturally um, I did that, but I think mm -hmm. it was more so um, the game of life, the game of business, just mm -hmm. wanting to win, um, just mm -hmm. being competitive. So I think that competitive spirit aligned with basketball, which is a team sport. Mm -hmm. So you have to have that, you know, leadership ability to lead your team, mm -hmm. to work well with others. Um, I think that's crucial in any job. You could be the best salesperson ever, but if everybody hates you and you don't do things the right way and bring, mm -hmm. you know, your team up with you, you're not going to have long-term success. So you're going to maybe have some short-term successes. And so I think that's one attribute that I attained was learning how to be the best that I could be and also to be a good leader and to be able to work well with others. Um, and those sports does that for for young athletes. You see, you see so many athletes going into the sales profession um and it's because we're competitive and it's because we want to achieve you know success and it's an endless grind i mean just like one game right you have 82 games say a season for the nba every single game is new every single day in sales is new like you know so you take those that same you know work ethic and you pour it into something like that where you get what you put in and, mm -hmm. and that's something in sales and in business that you're able to attain. So I can work 24 hours a day and get what I put in. And that's something that um, you can't do everywhere. And not everybody gets that same work ethic from, you know, not necessarily playing sports. Got you. Got, were you ever a captain of a team? I was. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So um, that was one thing, you know, and when I got to the every level was different you know in high school mm -hmm. as a captain in, in junior mm -hmm. college i was uh, all academic and all all-star um mm -hmm. and a captain and then i got to uh nca division two program where we we're testing uh nca division two and i was basically um i remember my coach said what number do you want and i was like um number 12 and he's like well you're number 21 and i knew where i was at that point i had to work and grind um i wasn't the big recruit i was i was basically fighting for my position and so even though i was not a captain when i got to the division two level i ended up you know earning a starting position my senior year and mm -hmm. also um winning the coaches award so i think that's one thing where it's like i was willing to work harder and everyone was willing to you know obviously um you follow that lead i think absolutely i think that's cr that's critical to being a legitimate to lead through influence as john maxwell says mm -hmm. the greatest level of leadership is influence not position 